okay so so if you remember the parity check matrix has this form okay so if you take the first uh, base graph for instance this is going to be 46 rows and 68 columns and the first 22 are message rows and the remaining uh, 46 are parity rows okay and there is an expansion factor z right so that is okay so whatever the expansion factor is uh, it will it will finally come into the picture and the first two columns are are punctured always right okay so once you fix the z once you fix the expansion factor and once you fix the parity check matrix okay uh, your number of message bits becomes 22 times z okay so now uh, uh, so so you can take various examples for instance you can take base graph 1 which i have done here and maybe z equals 16 or z equals 24 your number of message bits is going to be 22 into 16 22 into 24 okay now the number of message bits may not be exactly that you might be short by a little bit so now the way the standard picks the z is to make sure that you don't have too much of a shortfall and when you have a shortfall it will invariably be in only within one z block okay and then within that z block you make you shorten you make few of the bits to be zero okay so that's what you do if you're not exactly a multiple of z okay but, uh, but i'm not going to talk too much about that we, we will not worry about that too much but what about the number of code word bits so so far so far if you look at the number of code word bits number of possible code word bits it's actually 68 into z okay so you have 22 into z you're multiplying by you're computing all the parities you'll get 68 into z 2z first 2z are punctured okay so after the puncturing this results in 66 z bits okay so potentially from here to here you have a rate 1 by 3 okay so this is the lowest rate that the base graph 1 supports uh, the similar number for base graph 2 is 1 by 5 okay so if you remember it's 42 by 52 okay 10 z will be the number of message bits and 52 z will be the total number of code word bits you puncture the first 2z you get 50z so 10z to 50z it's 1 by 5 so that's base graph 2 in base graph 1 you have rate 1 by 3 okay and uh, so what if i want a higher rate so suppose i want rate half what do i do okay so that's where the rate matching sort of comes in for rate half message bits is 22z the you transmit only uh, first 44z bits are transmitted last 22z bits are punctured punctured meaning see remember when you puncture those parities they are actually non zero values and you are not transmitting them okay so that's something important to remember so then you get rate half okay so out of these 46 so you have the first 22 and out of these 46 you will only send the next 22 okay so for rate half rate half uh, you, so remember it's not a total of 22 you're puncturing something in the middle right so you have you're sending only 20 of these things so you can do 24 okay so you send 24 okay out of the 66 uh, totally you're sending so, so two two got punctured out of 68 so you got 66 and out of the 66 the first 20 z so in 20 z are message and the remaining 24 z are parity Okay, so remember how oh, will you do this uh, first 44 z are transmitted 20 z is message and 24 z is parity okay remember the first two z message blocks got punctured okay so this is message and you puncture them okay so 24 z you send to get rate on half what if you want a higher rate supposing you want rate uh, let's say 2 by 3 Okay, so what do you do for rate 2 by 3 let me write that down here supposing you want rate 2 by 3 uh, from 22 z 
I should be only sending 33z total, right? So that's that's uh, that's that's that will give me uh, rate two by three bits are transmitted. So that means 20z is message plus 13z is parity. Okay, so for rate uh, 2 by 3, so you'll have something here. Okay, 20z message is always sent. Okay, so 22z is the total number of message, 20z of message bits you always send. How many parities you send depends on the rate that you want to accomplish. Rate 2 by 3, you send only 13z. Rate half, you send only 24z. In higher and higher rates, different rates, you can decide how many bits you want to send. Okay, so that is the rate matching strategy from a high level. Uh, so, what do you, how do you do the decoding now? So, supposing if you do rate half, how should you decode? Now, that is an important question as well, right? So, you have only 24z, okay? So, since you have only uh, 24z here, Okay, the total that you are sending is uh, 44 z. Okay, so 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 if you look at it, uh, the f the there will be this so this block there will be this 22 24 by 24 block here. Okay, let me draw like that. Okay, so this is a 24 by 24. Uh, part of it okay so nothing to the right of this gets transmitted so your parity check matrix will just be this okay so the first 24 z 24 block rows is what you will use in the parity check matrix okay so you send 24 z parities okay which means only 24 blocks you will use in the decoder okay so only this part only this part that I blocked out here is used in the uh, rate half code. Okay, so let me complete that here. Okay, so in the decoder for the rate half code, you use 24 by the total here is 24 by 20 plus 22, which is 46. 24 by 46 uh, left top part of H is used. Okay, So, the other part you should not be using if you I mean it is not valid to use the other parts, uh, they do not work. Okay, So, once again let me repeat you had 22z uh, total number of uh, message bits 2 got punctured, but the punctured part you have to use in the decoder. 20z is what you send. If you want a overall rate of half, you have to send totally 44z uh, code word bits. So, another 24z you can send, which means 24 block rows, okay, block columns here and 24 block rows of the parity check matrix actually got used in the computation. So, this is the valid parity check matrix, one part of it. Okay. So, now what about the rate 2 by 3? Okay, in the rate 2 by 3, you are using only 13. Okay. So, you will be doing 13 by 35. Okay, so, in the decoder, you will be using 13 by 35 left top part. Okay, so, the others uh, you should not use. Okay, so, that is something uh, to be careful about. Okay, so, that is uh, that's, that's one part of it. Uh, so, once you do this with the LDPC code, you can send any rate you want, not only the lowest rate of 1 by 3, you can send 1 by 2, 2 by 3, etc. Okay. So, let me show you how I have modified the MATLAB code to accomplish this. Okay. So, this is what I have done here. Uh, so, this is the rate matched version of the code. The first thing you will see is uh, I have added uh, this new new thing called NBRM. Okay. So, supposing I desire a rate of half, I have to figure out how many blocks to send. Okay. So, that is going to be KB divided by rate plus 2. 2 is the the punctured position and then you have KB divided by rate. Okay, So, for instance, uh, for the base graph 1, KB is going to be 22. If rate is half, 
you will have this this first part giving you 22 by by half which is 44 plus 2 is 46 okay so if you remember 46 is the total number of blocks uh, that will be valid in your parity check matrix okay so the total n is uh, nb into rm that's nb rm into z okay this is after expansion and then this is the number of rows of the parity check matrix number of columns part of parity check matrix this is uh, just expansion I do not have to write any code for it this is number of rows ok and you have to subtract k b for it ok. So, m b r m the rate matched version of the parity check matrix all the rows will not apply they will not be valid parity checks you have to subtract k b from it. So, only only n b r m minus k b will be valid. So, if you look at rate half for instance n b r m became 46. So, n b r m minus 22 46 minus 22 will be 24. So, we saw just now 24 needs to come out ok. So, the first k b part of it uh, needs needs to be subtracted from this ok. So, hopefully this is clear this plus 2 and this, this is because of the puncturing if we were not to puncture this plus 2 will not come ok. So, this is how it looks ok. So, this is one change. So, now your decoder was using the entire parity check matrix and I have to make suitable changes there also and the changes here are not too bad uh, for every iteration the for loop for the layer will run only till m b r m it will not take the whole parity check matrix only till m b r m and the column will stop at n, n b r ok. The columns here will not use the entire thing n b r. Other than that nothing has to change everything else will remain the same. The min sum operation after you have accumulated all the rows together and aligned them is the same and then here again when you do the addition the final addition uh, you, you stop with n b r ok. So, there is a change here to say n b r ok. So, that is it.